Hello and welcome each and every single lovely smiling face out there. Today we're going to take a look at something that has popped up over a number of tabloids now, where supposedly three documentaries are being made about Johnny Depp and his downfall. Basically, these are going to be in similar uh, documentary style that we've seen about Michael Jackson, Britney Spears, Woody Allen, those people. We've seen a lot of those come out recently where everyone is, oh, the best thing to do is expose these people, cancel them, get rid of them. And it's like, wow. Again, no. Hate gets a lot of clicks, it gets a lot of views. And obviously, these documentaries, they're going to be on like ITV and BBC here in the UK, on American TV. I would assume they're probably be on like HBO or something. These kind of things get a lot of attention because they want to see people fail, which is sad. But this is what we got, so let's spin this around. It is coming from the Daily Fail. Johnny Depp's downfall to be explored in three new documentaries after he lost bid to overturn the High Court ruling. It has been claimed that the upcoming shows are currently being made in the US and UK with production company Optomen working with ITV. In March, Def 57 was refused permission to bring an appeal against a damning High Court ruling. His lawyers claimed at the time that he looked forward to presenting the irrefutable truth to a US liable court, which is being pushed back to next year. The actor has already paid £628,000 in legal fees after losing the first liable trial and now faces paying a larger bill for costs and damages. In addition to the millions worth of spending, the actor also lost his role of Gellat Gilderweil Grindelwald. We know about all this. Then it says the damage to his reputation risks him losing out on more roles in the future. But it's not though, is it? Because people still want to work with him because they know he's a fantastic actor. Johnny Depp's downfall is reportedly set to be explored. I actually like how they've got downfall in quotation marks. I do like that. In three new documentaries after he lost his bid in the UK High Court ruling. Claimed that the upcoming shows are currently being made in the US and UK with production company Optomen working with ITV on a Depp VAH programme since last summer. In March, he was refused permission to bring the appeal. Yep, okay. The actors already had to pay. Yeah, we've got that in the front. In addition to the millions worth of spending, he also lost his role. Yeah, we've had that. Source told The Sun. So the scum, of course, they're bound to be involved. They will make for excruciating viewing on for Depp, who's probably wished the whole disastrous saga would go away. But the story of how a multi-millionaire who was box of his gold was the author of his own downfall is just too sensational a subject not to explore. Obviously they would do that because it's the scum. The scum are out there now and they want to literally go out there and be like, yeah, we can say whatever we want about him. But remember, that goes both ways. If it's free, if it's fair game to go out there and say something stupid or whatever against uh, Johnny Depp, you can do the same against AH. Again, if they come back and say, you can't do this, well, you said it was fair game. You said the press can do whatever they want. Mail Online has contacted both ITV and Depp's representative for comment. Nothing has happened. Then it goes into, obviously, March. He was refused permission to bring the appeal against uh, the High Court ruling. Then it goes about $50 million in his US liable case against her, which will also be extremely costly, was recently delayed until April of next year, which sucks, because everyone wants to get in there and be like, right, what can we do? How can we see this is going to happen? But yeah, obviously you got the scum, you got the daily fail, they're all going to be reporting on this, which they are, and it's just sad to see, because when they say, oh, it's fair game now, anything can happen, it's like, well, okay then. Let's see if we write something about you. Let's see how you react. You know, especially when it's not true. Especially when there's so much evidence showing that you're wrong. And that you actually were the horrible person in this relationship. But they don't seem to think like that. They just think, oh right, let's just get in there and let's just do it. Which is absolutely bonkers. But that's what we've got for this one by here, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it is only a quick little video, you know, to get on this and tell you what's going on. Tomorrow, I'm actually on a stream with Stevie, Les, Shelby, and a few other people for the charity stream for the Children's Hospital of LA, which is going to be amazing. Then Sunday night, 9pm UK time, both days, 9pm UK time. Steve tomorrow, and on Sunday, I will be with Rob. And I, I think Colonel Cutter... 
Kurt is going to be on there as well. So that'll be good, uh, a nice little stream there. So if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see each and every one of you soon.